This is a podcast all about creating your own handmade wardrobe. So this is part of my series introducing you to my new yarn brand, Curated Yarn Co. We're talking about what colourways are going to be in the first update. If you missed the first couple of videos, please click on the links above and watch those first because they give you a bit of an overview as to what the company's about, how we're starting, where we're going to be, where you can find us and the second video is all about our first colourways and what will be in the first shop update. So this video is all about the one-of-a-kind mini sets that are going into that particular update. As I've said before, we are launching really soon. I'm just waiting on a few bits of um, stuff from the printers at the moment. Once those things have come through, I will show you them and um, get all of the stuff up onto the website. So we will be selling on Etsy as I've mentioned in previous videos and as I've said these sets that I'm going to show you today are one of a kinds. So the reason that these are one of a kinds is because I use mini sets to play. So mini minis are great for creating colourways, developing colourways and thinking about how you might want a colourway to work. Then you work on scaling it up. Personally, that's how I work. Some other people don't. Some people go straight in and are very brave and chuck in four skeins, full skeins. I don't uh, know. Scary. So these are based on colourways that I've sort of developed a little bit. Either wasn't a viable colourway to scale up or they were... Um, colourways that I may use in the future but I didn't have a definite plan for. So they are going to be set of five 20 gram minis. They are four ply fingering weight. They are 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. So I'm going to start with a pink one because I feel that those who know me know my deep love for everything pink, coral, etc. So as I've said in previous videos, um, I have been developing colours for quite a while and so we didn't have the space in our old house and now we do, so there will definitely be more of these colours coming out. So starting with pinks, we have this gorgeous mini set. I don't have specific names for these, I'm just going to number them probably on the website. So this is the first mini set, which is the pinks. And so we start off with this one, which is a really peachy pink with brown and black speckle. Really lovely blender, I think, that one. And then we've got another one which is kind of splashes of pinks and purples in a kind of um, soft tone. This would be absolutely gorgeous with some of the full skeins. So um, colourways like Autumn Berry, um, Chiogia and Victoriana, it would look gorgeous with those and equally a lot of these would look beautiful and some of them are variations on those. So that's the first two. Then we have this gorgeous mauvey pink, Let's see if I can get the colour, that's the most accurate I can get that colour. So that's those. Then we have a deeper darker version of Victoriana so this is much more plum um, it reminds me of kind of velvet sofas it's got that kind of tone that velvety tone to it purple and then we have this nice poppy fluoro pink it's actually a touch softer a bit more bubblegum I put it there it's a bit more accurate so yep, yeah, this is a five skein mini set and this will be in the shop. I only have one of each mini set. It's very important to note. So if you want one, you have to get in there quick on the update because these are non-repeatable, um, limited editions. Uh, you know, they're, they're experiments. So they might come back in some capacity, but not in the set. That they currently are so this is my pink set and this is the first one to show you with yarn dyeing comes lots of um, experimental 
ideas and I have a notebook of course and I work on those ideas as best as I can. So this set is very out of my comfort zone colour wise. These aren't colours that I necessarily would choose for myself but I know they're colours that people love. So this one is kind of my um, winter's beach sort of set. And some of these colours I'm pretty sure will come back in some capacity, it's just a case of whether I can get them to work. So this was me working on Iron Age, so those who have watched the previous video, if you haven't, please make sure that you do, will know that I have a few colours called Bronze Age and Stone Age. This is going to be, um, this is the development of, if you like, of Iron Age. So it's this lovely steely grey with dark grey speckles. Then we have another speckled colourway, which was again just an experiment. This reminds me of kind of um, pebbles. Oops, it's, the problem is it's not natural. Here you go, this is slightly more natural. You will be able to see on the website, I photographed them so that you can see the speckles. So that's that colour. Then we have this gorgeous olivey green. This is a colour that I wouldn't naturally gravitate towards but actually works really well for my skin tone and I think it would work for lots of skin tones. So that's the beautiful olive colour that reminds me of seaweed. Then we have this colour which I'd really like to develop further Again, totally out of my comfort zone with things that I personally wear, but I think it is breathtakingly beautiful with the kind of rust, there's a kind of rusty brown in there, and you've got the greens and the kind of ecru colour. It's a lovely subtle colourway. And these would make a gorgeous shawl, but the last one is definitely a colour that I want to recreate and this I think would be called Tempest. So it is a variation on the colourways from the C collection, so you can check that out in the previous video, but it is a darker deeper version and I think it deserves the name Tempest. So I will be trying to recreate this one. So this is the Winter Beach set. Again, these are one of a kind. I only have one set. If you want it, grab it. Keep an eye out. This is an orange and blues set uh, with a steely grey. So, again, one of a kind. As I've said before, they're five mini skeins, 20 grams, so this is equivalent to one full skein. So, we started off with this orangey, stripey blue combo which I really like. It's again totally crazy for me but I really liked it and then I sort of thought well what can I pair it with and this is an early version of Royal Blood. So this is the blue that I have on full skeins. Then I kind of was working towards kind of softer tones that would go with it. So a lot of these are um, tonal kind of variegated skeins. That blue I was working on trying to create um, a Grecian blue and I didn't quite get there but it is a gorgeous skein nonetheless. And then again this is a nice soft grey and this grey looks beautiful with all of them. So again full skeins so you could make scrappy socks, you could make shawls, you could have it as stripes in a sweater, um, it, minis are a great option and I decided that I wanted to stock 20 grams not 10 grams because I felt that um, 20 grams are kind of better value in terms of the yardage that you get, you get 80 metres and I just felt that if it was me creating with them I'd want 20 grams. So that doesn't mean we won't ever stock 10 grams but I'm aiming to as much as possible stock 20 gram minis. For those who are not in the yarn dyeing world, you might have heard that um, minis are basically out of action. <laughs> Everyone's desperately trying to get their minis for Advents 
at this particular moment in time. So um, these mini sets are going into the shop and I will try my best to grab some more minis to create some more. So this is what I like to call the Heartland set. And these were kind of inspired by um, the Midwest USA, um, kind of, I don't know, hot summer kind of colors. So this one is a pink and black speckle on a very pale base. This is Stone Age on a mini. So this one is irrepeatable. Then we have this one which was very close to Iron Age but is a little bit darker. I thought it reminded me of um, Raku Firing Pottery but I know there's a few dyers who have that name but it just reminded me of when the pottery comes out totally black and then you start to rub it off and then it starts to give you what's beneath so that one and then we have this one which is the starter for what I think will be the heartland color uh, what will be the heartland colorway in these gorgeous pinks there's browns there's this gold which is great and then we have this one which I actually did a very different dyeing technique for this and I would love to recreate it but on a bigger scale so we will be working on this because I think this would make a gorgeous heartland colour. So that is those minis all together. See if I can hold them like I held the last lot. There you go. That one there. So again, there is one set of these, although there is a very similar set in similar tones. So if you are interested in this one, grab it, but there is also one that's very similar if you miss out on that one. So the last thing that I am going to show you today on the minis is actually a set of very early dyed. And I am probably not going to stock this base again. No reason other than I just don't think that people um, use it more than kind of Christmas time. Maybe for Christmas because it is a fun base. So these are sparkle minis, but instead of there being Stellina, they are plied with Lurex. So if you want to see what a Lurex strand looks like, I don't know how well this is going to work. There you go. So this is a Lurex strand. And so this is actually plied into the yarn itself. And so it gives you kind of like a stripe of um, sparkle rather than the, the little tiny sort of touches of sparkle that you get with a Stellina. So these are all based around the C collection. They are, some of them slightly different to the C collection, some are the same. So I have two of these sets and I also have some um, sort of random minis that didn't fit into a mini set. So again, these are 20 gram minis. Here you go. Oh, they are so good. I might have to stock it again because I really love these colours. So, let's put them in some semblance of order. Here you go. So these are variations on Seascape. This is Seascape here. This is a slightly bluer version of Seascape. It's not doing it justice, it's too much light. It's got a really gorgeous deep blue in there. Then we've got a minty one, a dark cosmic sky style one, and then this one which kind of, that's what they remind me of as kind of like cosmic constellations and stars. So I have actually got two sets of these. And again, these are 20 gram minis. So that is a set that is equivalent to a full skein. What I also have, and please let me know if you are interested in it, is um, some minis that didn't fit into five sets. So I might do a mystery mini if you are at all interested in that. And I will send you a few of the other minis that didn't quite fit into a set, but are still beautiful nonetheless. So you will be able to find us at Curated Yarn Co on Instagram. We are going to be on Etsy and launching our Etsy shop really soon. And that also is going to be at Curated Yarn Co. And 
you can always find us here on YouTube. I will, of course, be continuing on with my podcast and showing you other makers as well as my own hand-dyed yarn. But please let me know what you think of the colourways and um, I'm really looking forward to developing this business and um, serving you guys as customers, which is super exciting but also super scary. So don't forget to like and subscribe Please, if you haven't, check out the other videos that we have um, introducing Curated Yarn Co. I talk about the brand, uh, where it came from, why the name, all those kind of things. And I will see you for a podcast really, really soon. Take care. Bye.